Hello Trail Walkers. I would like to give a quick shout out to our friends at Sunglass Warehouse for providing some of the coolest shades around at a discount. No trail is walked without a pair of these on hand for a comfortable trail experience. For more information, please visit sunglasswarehouse.com. I will place a link in the description of this video. Now, let's get started. Hello trail walkers. Today we are going to join the Gators Volks Marchers in downtown Norfolk. And if you recall, I did do a downtown Norfolk video by myself. However, I'm going to pick up a couple of other points of interest, including the world famous Dumars Barbecue. Hopefully we can have some lunch afterwards. Hello trail walkers. I am back again at the downtown Norfolk joining the Gators. You can see that I'm bundled up so it's a little chilly this morning but it's going to warm up just a teensy bit this afternoon. When I did the downtown Norfolk walk last year, as a matter of fact it's been about a year since I did it, um, there were quite a few points I was not able to capture because they weren't along the route. So today what I'm going to do is backtrack and see if I can catch those missing pieces. Hope you enjoy. Okay, trail walkers, I'm kind of glad I came to do the group walk today because I found out due to COVID restrictions, there were some minor changes towards the end. And um, it looks like the majority of the route does go through uh, the area in MacArthur, the residential area, um, Granby is, and Ghent. So I've already taken care of that. So what I'm gonna do is go to Waterside and see what changes have been made. There's some minor ones and see if I can get some footage for you. So what I have to do is I have to look at the trail directions backwards. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs>
Okay, trail walkers, we are wrapping this up at one of Norfolk's icons. When I did the first Norfolk video, it was a Sunday and this place was closed. It's the world-renowned Dumas Ice Cream and Barbecue. They have an old-school style where they provide curbside service. They also have some indoor dining. And they're also known for producing homemade waffle ice cream cones daily. Not to mention that the North Carolina barbecue is wonderful. So, thank you for joining me today, and I'll catch you the next time on the trails. Well, trail walkers, now that we've made our way over to Dumars, we went ahead and ordered um, a few of the popular items, and one of them was North Carolina barbecue sandwich. I got a small order of fries, and I got a couple of scoops of ice cream for dessert and their homemade waffle cones. So here's a cute little story about that. When I first moved to Hampton University, um, I got my first apartment in my second year of school, and the apartment complex was near a small mom and pop food chain called Tiny Giant. And Tiny Giant used to have a little hot food counter for people to come and get things like fried chicken, sandwiches, and french fries. So one day while I was doing laundry, I decided to go over and get barbecue because they had a sign in the window stating that they had barbecue and slaw for I think it was $2. You have to remember this was the late 80s. Anyway, I went ahead and got the order and I took the order back to the laundry room while I'm waiting for my clothes to dry. I open up the bag and I am upset because all I see is the sandwich. So I'm looking for the little cup of slaw and I'm upset and I'm running back to the store and the lady looks inside the bag and says the slaw is not there. Needless to say, I'm sitting there arguing with this lady for about an hour and she takes the sandwich out of the bag and she takes the lid off of the sandwich and the slaw is on the sandwich, period. Okay, I had never had North Carolina barbecue before. I was surprised because of two things. Number one, I had never had coleslaw on a sandwich before. And number two, the barbecue was not red. I was used to it being either in a red or a brown sauce, and it wasn't. So needless to say, I had embarrassed myself in the middle of a convenience store. People looking at me like I'm crazy because they couldn't understand why I was having a fit over this sandwich. So that was my first adventure with barbecue from North Carolina and I've been eating it ever since. Thanks so much for joining me today but the trail is not over because your final step is to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos every Monday. And remember the next walking adventure is closer to you than you think. See you next time.